Hey guys and welcome to Petrol Pet and welcome to the 2021 Festival of Speed. Anyone fancy going up the hill in a JCW hatch? Now then this is a little bit of a surprise sprung on me at the very last minute. I had to run up to the media centre and get my helmet but we're going to go up the hill. It's a passenger ride. I'm up the hill in the JCW hatch driven by the very able Chris who I've known for a while. The first time I met this gent actually was driving the Mini GP3 up the hill two years ago. Chris, hello. say hello to YouTube. How are you doing? Yeah, very good. good see you. These guys are all in, the, all in the proper gear and we're following up None other than Mr. Charlie Cooper in the e pace set of that thing is wicked. It's pretty good, it's good yeah. fun. Let's see if I go a bit faster today. We'll try and keep up with you. <laughs> so, yeah, so first things first, if you've not done one of these, um, you've basically come to the assembly, we're in the first glance paddock. Uh, we get the cars ready, we then have to drive to the start line and then we'll go up in the batch. We're in the first glance batch, drive to the top of the hill, assemble at the top of the hill, uh, have a good chat with all the other drivers and then come back down again. So, I thought you'd like to come along for the ride. Strap in, it should be good fun. So, driving to the start line. Indeed. I was just saying, the first time I've been in the new JCW for, for a start, uh, very nice it is too. Um, but we're <laughs> just saying, we've got the, the pace setter in front leading the way, and it's just, it looks just so cool, doesn't it? Absolutely, we've got, we've got our own personal safety plan. I know, exactly. It's, um, just what you need, really, around here. I need, I wonder how many kind of customers desperately want that light cluster on the top of their <laughs> GP3. Um, so a lot, a lot of that is uh, is kind of inspired by GP3, but it is quite different when you look at it. The, just the the track and yeah, everything's different. Absolutely, yeah. It is a it is a bespoke build just yeah. for that. But yeah, it's kind of our, our take on merging electric with JCW in the yeah. future and what what, it, what could it be? What, what it could be? Mm, maybe maybe one maybe. day. Who knows? Mm. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, don't worry. I won't hold you to anything. You didn't just say that there's going to be an electric JCW. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> much as everyone would want to. <laughs> and then actually, interesting in front of that is the Alpha that I'm driving also. It's pretty exciting. We're in the world's coolest traffic jam. Pretty much, pretty much. Good. Why wouldn't you want to be here? Sunny day, festival of speed, happy days. This is the bit that people don't see. <laughs> you have to wait for so long. So we're now back in the car because I thought everything was moving and we've now been sat in the car for about five or 10 minutes. The the red arrows have delayed us really, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, I know. They it's It sucks, isn't it? I mean, out. come on. Yeah, so we've got the red arrows out. There they go, look, <laughs> above. Um, so while we're sat, oh, fuck, you can just hear them, look. Yeah. So sat in the new JCW, I sadly couldn't come to the press drives of the JCW, which I was very, very annoyed about. So what's new about the car? I mean, I guess the obvious thing is the front, the front profile's very different. Yeah, absolutely. The, the, the front and rear, to be honest, it, we've yeah. got a huge like air intakes in the front now, you know, really aggressive looking sort of John Cooper Works aero kit. So yeah, yeah it's very, very cool, very different looking. Um, inside though, we've got some stuff as well. So we've got an all new infotainment system. Yeah, so this is a this is a, an accessory actually. Yeah. So this is a, an aftermarket one that we, we offer and it's yes. Uh -oh. Alcantara, very nice. Does that fit the club then? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so yeah, so new infotainment it's much wider. It's wider, yeah, touch Does it screen. have full width Apple CarPlay? Yes, it does indeed. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Finally, so we change things. You yeah, know, good. We update it, but, good. Uh, but yeah, and uh, but yeah, an all new kind of interface as well. So it's very different to look at how you use it. It's you nice can personalise it a lot more. You can change, you know, change the sort of your favourites and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So yeah. M mega, <laughs> mega full width Apple CarPlay. But obviously, all that stuff's nice. But it's still a John Cooper works. Yeah. So we're going to fly up the hill. We are going to fly up the hill. Engine wise, same as the as the previous model. So it's two, three. Yeah, two, three, one. Yeah, is it? Oh, there you go. Sounds I'm quite I know. Well done. Well done. Uh, I was what's the torque figure? The torque figure is what about four hundred? Maybe I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know the I know the horsepower. Though. I'm quite impressed with that. So. Uh, and this is the auto. So absolutely. Yeah. 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 I've seen you, I've seen you fly up the hill in the GP3, mate. So you'll be. I'll be holding on. Where's the Where's the go fast <laughs> handles? <laughs> if we ever get on the hill. I oh, know. Yeah. Come on. I mean that. But that pace setter does look wicked. So we have a very loud ass, uh, a very loud Lamborghini up front. I hope you can hear us now. By the way, we've got our, our lids on. So you've turned everything off. Indeed. Excellent. I'm hoping all that mud because it was really muddy yesterday morning. I was talking to the guy from Ferrari. Yeah. He was in the, the 812, he said he nearly crashed it about 20 times, <laughs> just going up the hill. 
Well, that's it, yeah. Cold tires <laughs> covered in mud. Oh, that was a delay we didn't want. <laughs> Someone going off at Malcolm. So here we go. Right, we've got to see if we can catch Charlie. Okay. I'll leave you to concentrate. <laughs> <laughs> nice squirrely bits coming into a couple of corners. A little bit squirmy. They're quick little things, aren't they? These. Oh, I just bloody love minis. Just so settled through the corners. They just do brilliant, don't they? That's it. Little little toys you can have fun with. Yeah, exactly. Oh look at that man. That's just insane. <laughs> yeah, that's something else. <laughs> Wicked. Congratulations, dude. Cheers, buddy. Good run, that was. Thank you for that. No worries. All right, let's go and have a quick look and see what cars we've got out there. Yeah. Now then, while we are in the best traffic jam in West Sussex, <laughs> mate, tell us about this car, because it's, it's wicked. So yeah, this is the prototype car of the actual uh, pace setter, the safety car from Formula E. It's uh, stripped out, lightweight, um, inspired by JCW, it's got 3D printed parts, recycled carbon, laid up carbon. Yeah, it's pretty special. It's, uh, and it's and, good fun to drive. And it's electric. And it's electric. Is it yeah. pretty quick? Yeah, it is. I mean, <laughs> off the line. It's, uh, it's You get the traction down, it's uh, amazing. And how's your uh, festival speed going so far? Good, good. I'm glad the sun's out. I hope it might be rainy this weekend. So. Yeah, let's not talk about it. So tomorrow, maybe. Maybe a bit wet. But we'll try and keep up with you in our little uh, petrol JCW. Cool. Enjoy. We need to do more, sir. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. There you go. Right. Um, and then we'll just flick the camera around to these two bad boys. Uh, depending on when the video drops, I'll have either already driven that or, in fact, yes, I probably will have already driven that um, on YouTube, but I'm driving that on Sunday. Looking forward to it. So we are at the top of the hill, but we probably need to have a look at some of the ridiculously insane cars. That little JCW, that was quick. Um, really, Chris is it. He's a top peddler, actually. Really very good. But yes, thought we might have a quick look at this. The, uh, um, well, we've got an Elva, a Monza, an SF90 Spider. The new McLaren Artura is looking rather nice. McLaren GT. Um, F-Type SVR. There's a good selection of cars here, and, and this is the combination of the uh, supercar run and the first glance run. So we've got we've got some proper proper weapons here. Let's see if we can look at anything particularly sexy. Well, like that P1 for a start. Amazing. Get another P1 GTR. All the drivers having a chat. It's the bit I love most about coming to the top of the hill, being this side of the ropes. Very, very special. Well, that was fun. That was fun. Yeah. So the return bit down, this is always, because we're really close to the car, so you can kind of have a look what's in front, but we have got split up. We've got a GR Super in front instead of the pace setter. But... It's not as good, is it? No, maybe you could overtake it. It's quite narrow through here. Yeah. yeah. Do you, do you, yeah, I, I think they might probably get the upper <laughs> So as a driver, so what do you, you know when you watch the shootout and you watch the guys drive up here quickly, 
Yeah, it's impressive, isn't it? It's, it's really I mean, impressive. I just said to camera, you weren't around, so, but you're a proper handy peddler, you can tell, you're, oh, you're a good you. driver. And then you watch these guys in these very high performance cars, like Justin Law, or, you know, the, um, yeah. who's the guy who did it in the gobstop, you know, the time attack car, and they're just, <laughs> it's Another almost, league, they're yeah. almost, yeah. oh, Roman Dumas, like, when he was in the IDR, um, the last festival of speed that took place, you watch it and it's just unbelievable. Yeah. Is that, um, is absolutely no fear. I think the, the difference here with the, the, compared to a circuit is you know you've got runoff. You, yeah. You're not looking for these, yeah, just hay bales that are just yeah. right there, and that's that's the difference. I think they can. And it brings it all home because literally four cars in front of us <laughs> was a seven series Alpina, Oops. and the driver stuffed it into Malcolm. So he was sure waving at people. <laughs> that's the best bit, waving at people. <laughs> Yeah, we could do some burnouts. Okay. <laughs> We're going quite quick, actually. Marshals really don't like that. No, they don't. They get the proper up, don't they? Yeah. Um, it's nice on the way down. You it's lovely. You get to wave at everybody, having a lovely time. Yeah. It's the best bit. Wave at the marshals, doing the best job. Shout out to Goodwood Marshals. Absolutely. I do lots of stuff with Goodwood Marshals. They're at ace. Because these events simply would not take place without them. Absolutely. That's why we keep them very happy with gifts and yeah. nice things. It's You're the good. famous one. You're going to be getting papped down here. Oh yeah, I, I have been papped on uh, yeah, uh, occasions. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Hey! <laughs> B Road Hunting Club, Ed, you're a legend, Roger. <laughs> Just working the crowd. I'm working the crowd. Work it, baby, work it. Always professional. <laughs> you fix the hay bales now. <laughs> yeah, there's a big. Uh, they've made a big. They have, they've yeah. got lots of spares, haven't they? Yeah. The hay bales look much better now. <laughs> Wait, can you imagine though? I having to come back and say I'm sorry. Here's the keys. I've just yeah. left the car in the it's bales. It's over there somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's bent in half. Well, we are back safe and sound. That was a good adventure, wasn't it? A bit of a wait. <laughs> Mate, we were just saying that's like two hours or something. <laughs> two hours, yeah. That's absolutely mad. Anyway, massive thank you to Minnie. Chris, You're well. welcome. Charlie. Great to see you. It's been good much. chasing to try and keep up with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good fun. And uh, hopefully we'll try and do something soon. Definitely. That'd be good. Guys, hope you enjoyed that. A little behind the scenes tour. All I would say is if you ever get the chance to go up the hill at Goodwood as a passenger or a driver, just book out two or three hours. <laughs> Especially if someone decides to smash up a car at Malcolm. But I hope you enjoyed that one. If you have done so, please give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petrobed for plenty more content to come. And I'll see you on the next film, guys. You take care. Drive safe.